The Kiwi Garden is basically a collection of widgets that people who use Kiwi have made. So someone like you or me might have made a widget and we thought it was really helpful and we were able to submit it to the Kiwi Garden package. So the garden is just a repository of all these really handy widgets. You might find a couple like the map view widget, which helps you display like locations on a map and you can pan around the map. Or you might find the graph module, which lets you plot things like lines, scatter plots, and that type of stuff. Or even like a QR code scanner. And a little bit of terminology, each one of these widgets is called a flower. So the map view is a flower from the Kiwi garden package, okay? And actually, the garden package is in the midst of an update and there's basically new flowers which take one way to install and then there's old flowers which have a legacy way to install. And we're gonna cover really quickly how to install both types of the flowers. Okay, so let's hop into that. Now the first thing you wanna do if you're gonna look at the garden flowers is go to github.com slash kiwigarden. This is the repository for all the garden flowers, okay? Now you'll notice one thing here um, as we scroll down through all of these different flowers like garden.more transitions is a flower, context menu, garden.context menu. The new flowers, the ones that have the new way to install, have just the name of the flower, okay? And the legacy flowers have garden dot in front of them. So modern menu would take the new way to install. Garden.modern menu would be um, one that you have to install with the legacy method. Okay, so to install the new flowers, I'm going over here and I'm looking at the install, instru install instructions for the Kiwi Garden. And right here, we have the command that you would use to install one of the new flowers, okay? So Python minus M pip, so we're just using pip. Um, pip install, kiwi underscore garden dot, and then you would have the name of your flower. So this right here, kiwi underscore garden dot graph would install, let's see, this right here, the graph, um, the graph flower. Okay, and if I go and I look at this, the graph flower gives me access to this nice widget right here. Okay, so that's the graph we, we saw earlier. So that's how we install the new flower. I'll show that really quickly in a command window. If I open this, and I'll use Python 3 because Python 3 is the standard now. So Python 3 minus M pip install kiwi underscore garden dot graph dash dash extra dash index dash url and hang on this is getting in the way extra index url https colon slash slash kiwi dash garden dot github dot io slash simple slash if i do that it'll take a second and it will install it for you I've already install, installed it, so it says requirement already satisfied. Okay, so that's how you install one of the new garden flowers. And now if you scroll down a bit in the instructions, um, this is how you install the legacy flowers. The legacy flowers are installed with a tool called um, Garden. And it's, it's basically just like a command line tool that makes it easier to install the flowers. And I have the garden tool installed already, so I can say like which garden, and that'll tell me Okay, you do have the garden tool installed and it's here. So basically, I would type which garden to see if you have the garden tool installed already, or if you're on Windows, you would do where garden. Okay, if you're on Windows. And if you don't have it yet, then you just run this pip install kiwi garden. So I would say pip install kiwi dash garden, or maybe python3 minus mpip to make sure it's installed with python3. Okay, so you would install kiwi garden. If I run that, it'll say I already have it. And now I can just use the garden command to install any of the legacy um, widgets or legacy flowers. So in the next video, I'm gonna be working with the map view module. So I would do something like garden install map view. And that's all it takes. I already have it installed, so no problem. And now when you open up Python or Python 3, you'll be able to access the flower that you installed. And each flower that you install should have instructions on how to use it. So if I go back to the Kiwi Garden GitHub page here and say I want to work with the context menu and I just installed it using the new method, of course, because it's not garden dot. So I would click here and there's instructions for each one of these objects, okay, and how you can use it. So here they've got an example of how you would use this context menu. Okay, so now we've learned how to install both the new and the legacy flowers with Kiwi Garden and go click on the next video because we're gonna work with the map view widget, which is a really popular one and it works really nicely.
All right, see you there.